Welcome to Technologies, my friends. This intro has got nothing to do with the video, but all I've got to say is make sure you don't get wet. So uh, I'm just testing out if this random little GoPro-like camera over here is actually waterproof. Check this out. Looks like it's still recording. Let's stop the recording. So if you're a video filmmaker or video shooter, videographer, then you know the pain of transferring files from your cameras to the computer. Um, I've got like absolutely loads of these and usually what happens is, you know, you shoot like a three angle shoot, like if you're familiar with the channel, then I'm usually shooting like three angles and then I'm just going to shoot and then get all the camera like SD cards or micro SD cards and then from the recorder I usually have another one from there um, and then I used to have this anchor SD card reader and then you put one in you put it to load and then you wait when it's done and then you put the net next one in but I have something very very exciting for you something over here called Kingston workflow station and it's absolutely amazing. Not perfect, but amazing. So from the office, I've got this little dock over here and this is connected to the computer through USB-C and then there's a little power cord over there as well because if you're using multiple of these, then uh, mini hubs, that's what I'm talking about at the moment, then you're gonna need a little bit more power than just the USB-C. And then you have these little mags, the Kingston mags, what I'd like to call them, but actually they're called like mini hubs or SD card readers. But basically, they are either micro SD card reader over here with USB-C in the back. You've got a USB-C and USB type A in the front. So you've got USB-C in the back. And then you've got an SD card. This is UHS-2 SD card reader. So if you've got one of those fast cards, like V90 cards, you can transfer files like very, very fast, like over 300 megabytes per second. So then now what you have to do with these is literally just slot them into this hub. Boom. 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 And then start plugging in your SD cards. So that's when it's in the office. But now we've got to go on a shoot and I need to transfer some files on a laptop. So let's go. You never guess the places that I've been. You never guess the places that <sighs> I've been. Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but it probably would have been easier to go through the door. But the point I'm making is, it doesn't matter where you are, you can take the card readers with you. Let me show you. So let's say you're, I don't know, wherever, you're gonna take your laptop with you. You need a laptop. You've got your SD cards. And then your card reader, and a little bit of a USB-C cable. Now, if you have a USB-C cable, basically this becomes a card reader. So what you have to do is plug it in the back of this card reader, take your SD card, I'm going to plug it in here, pop it in here, boom, there it is, there we go, and we've got our files, we've got some of these, so this is 1.46 gigabytes, let's just see how long does it take, check this out. In five seconds, it transferred it over. That was 1.4 gigabytes. It's ridiculous. Obviously, the card reading speed for these is 300 megabytes per second as well. So if you want faster transfer speeds, make sure that your cards are fast as well to read because this read uh, is very, very fast as well. But no product is perfect and neither is this one. And here's the one thing that I wish they're going to revisit on the Kingston Workflow Workstation 2.0, if that makes sense. There it is. So now the one thing that isn't so perfect about it, or for me, one of the things that is a little bit needs to be re-engineered. So basically, each one of those mini hubs has two ports 
in. So whether it's, you know, USB-C to USB-A to uh, two micro SD cards or two SD card readers. The problem is that when you transfer with one card, so no matter what card you use and depending on your card read and write speeds, you're going to get the maximum of that card speed. Now, as soon as you occupy the second port, whatever it is, micro SD card, SD card, or, you know, USB port, then basically what happens is the combined speed is going to be less than one port. For example, if I use two SD cards over here and one of them transfers files at 170 megabytes per second, then when I put in a second card that can transfer also 170 megabytes per second, then the combined speed is not going to be 340 megabytes per second, but the combined speed of the transfer, both of those together, will be roughly around 120 megabytes per second, which basically means that if you want the fastest transfer speeds, don't use two of the ports on each mini hub at the same time. The faster way is to use only one of them and then transfer that way. Now that is a big drawback for me because what's the point of having the second card slot if it's much faster to use only one card but i know that it can be done because if you use two separate hubs which means like the usb-c slots underneath there inside the hub then if you use separate hubs you're going to get the maximum of speed so if you use two separate hubs like a micro sd card and the sd card then you're going to get both of the maximum speeds it's only when you're going to use the same hub and the second port then you're going to be the reducing the combined transfer speed at the same time like sometimes the speed of the transfer isn't as important as just starting the speeds all at the same time and when one is done then the second one will go faster and things like that so you can still plug in like two cards and then you know start the transfer and then start working on something else because you don't have to wait for the first card to finish and then put in the second one. In conclusion, I think it's a very exciting product. Like for me, it works perfectly because like I can transfer a lot of the cards and put them to transfer at the same time. And when you buy the Kingston workstation product, what, what you get is like the hub at first, you get like this workstation with one of these mini hubs. And what will be included is the one with USB-A and USB-C ports. And then you can just buy how many or whichever ones you need for these little mini hubs. So there is micro SD card or SD card reader, or you can get another one of those USB-C and USB-A cards. Unfortunately, there isn't a CF card or CFS Express type A card. Um, there isn't any other card or mini hubs. There's only SD card and micro SD card mini hubs possible. But if you need like two SD card readers and one mini micro SD card then you can do that by just buying whichever ones you need now it is slightly on the pricier side because I think the workstation on its own with the one hub comes at around 100 pounds or a little bit more in the US check out the links in the description below if you want to pick one of those up one of those SD card readers at the same time like this UHS type 2 reader is quite affordable like this is about 30 quid and if you look at some of the other dual UHS 2 card readers then they are much more expensive like double the price for example the pro grade so in one sentence it's an absolutely awesome idea that I absolutely love but needs a little bit of revisiting um, to make both the card slots working now if you want to pick this out like I mentioned before the link for this is in the description below hit the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Adios.